you know what I really hate? <coughs> people are like, you say, that's gay, and people are like, don't say that, it's offensive. Uh, if my gay friends are chill with me saying that's gay, and they say it, pretty sure I can say it, because it's never to be connotated as homosexual suck. <laughs> this is a really crappy moment. In fact, the phrase gay didn't even mean homosexual, it was happy. That's so homosexual. That is so homosexual. From now on, we have to say that. We have to be, we have to be PC, everybody. Oh, I hate that. Like, everybody be PC. Between the media and, like, all these people trying to regulate what I'm saying. Stacey, you're being really homosexual right now. Oh, I'm sorry. How does that sound? That sounds awesome. <laughs> well, as far as, like, the divorce rates that we see among, like, heterosexual marriages, those, like, the divorce rates in the current day are so high that you really question if people, like, are finding love, so to speak. And then it's like when you see, like, homosexual people that are in love, I feel like they actually mean it because they're fighting to get married. Like, they want that same right, and when they finally achieve it, they're, like, gonna take it seriously. As opposed to like, you know, other people that are like, hey, let's get married, and then we have kids, and it's like, ooh, this isn't working out. It's like also shown in families that like divorce rates run through families. So if like your parents were divorced, chances are that you have a higher predisposition, predisposition to being divorced. And same if you had grandparents that got divorced, but if your parents are still together, then chances are you'll still be with your spouse. But because there's not like a lot of gay marriages, we can't even see the stats on that. So we still can't figure out, yeah. will they stay together? Maybe, because we, they're not given the chance. Yeah, they haven't given like <coughs> a solid amount of time yet to really test the waters on that issue. Like We don't have any facts or figures on homosexuals and their marriage rates. We can assume that they want to stay together because they're fighting so hard for it, but in 50 years, let's say every state is like, yeah, gay marriage is fine. Will it be the same in 50 years? Times Maybe. change. Maybe. <laughs> Sexuals are going to take marriage more seriously because they don't have, you know, it's not in writing like the church never said, oh, it's totally okay for you guys to get married. So I think they're going to take it way more seriously and they're going to, you know, take every avenue you know, towards getting, you know, the same marital rights as straight people. And more power to them. Like, I totally support it. Yeah, like, I'm sure it's something that they think about. And now that it's sort of reality, they're like, I gotta really work to, like, you know, make this whole thing happen for me. Because I'm sure there's so, there's so many people around us that are like, Psh, that's never gonna work out. And that it's like... Society's constantly tearing them down, and they're, they they want to prove them wrong. They want to say, "Yes, I really found love, and I'm gonna." <laughs> Can you use a complete sentence? Like as soon as like, what is it? The Westboro Baptist Church comes in, like pickets all the stuff. God hates fags. Blah blah blah. blah. Like you're gonna light a fire under a bunch of people's butts. And they 100% want to go out and be like, no, F you guys, we're going to make marriage acceptable for both, you know, homosexuals and straight people. <laughs> 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 on Facebook, just get married, actually. And I, I'm actually not that close to them. <laughs> I'm assuming so far, so good. So, you know, I got to creep and make sure that they're together longer than 72 days. <laughs>